Playing the game, you will spend a lot of time in the forests of Skyrim, whether you like it or not. So while we're at it, why not make them pleasant to look at? Today's video is all about trees. We'll be going through 9 different Skyrim Special Edition tree overhaul mods and later on in the video, we'll compare the selected tree mods against each other. At the end of the video, I'll reveal my personal top 3. The goal for this guide is to help you find the perfect tree overhaul for your game. Now let's begin with making a short acquaintance with all the tree mods we're comparing today. Some of them are brand new and some of them are older. Some of them are lore friendly and suitable for a vanilla plus gameplay, for example. And some bring in some seriously fantastical forests that in no way even resemble vanilla Skyrim. So if you're ready, it's time to introduce our first tree mod. Happy Little Trees is a relatively new tree mod released in 2021. It's a tree replacer that aims to have a good balance between great graphics and a prime performance. And it's fair to say that it has succeeded to do so. I experienced a frame loss of 3 FPS, which is not much at all, and all the trees look so beautiful. The pines and the snowy pines especially are very pretty, and they work great with Seasons of Skyrim. The art style of the trees feel connected throughout the region, which is something that I appreciate. You might already be familiar with Enhanced Vanilla Trees, since it's a classic tree overhaul mod. Its intention is to enhance Skyrim's trees, but still keep them friendly to the vanilla game, just with more graphical quality. It is viewed as the tree mod, fitting for a vanilla plus mod list, because at first glance you might think that they are vanilla trees, but when you see the actual vanilla trees, you notice the vast difference in the quality and lushness of the trees. You can configure this mod a lot through the faux mod installer, including making your trees way bigger and other stuff. This mod is also quite friendly to a lower end machines, which is a plus. The next generation of 3D forests. When Skyrim Special Edition was released in 2016, Skyrim 3D Trees and Plants was the new king of nature overhaul mods, featuring more than 300 new high quality models for Skyrim's trees and plants. Yes, in addition to replacing trees, it also replaces plants, which look really nice as well. Impressive as that is, this mod also is a little bit more demanding than the two lighter mods before, I personally experienced 4 lost frames. I made a mod review video about Nature of the Wildlands after it was first released a couple months ago, and have been using it ever since. It also fully supports Seasons of Skyrim now, by the way. Needless to say, I am a big fan of this tree overhaul mod, but it does come with some flaws as well. The vegetation density has been increased more than 5 times, which is awesome, but that obviously affects the performance as well. I lose 5 to 6 FPS while using Nature of the Wildlands, so those with a lower end PC might have to skip this one. Also, the mod is not completed yet, and only reworks Falkreath and Riften areas. But anything it touches turns to gold, so to say. Vedogold Trees is a new tree overhaul released in early 2022. This mod aims to deliver the most immersive forest dwelling experience, adding 278 new tree model replacers. The style of the trees are unique, very different from any other tree replacer mods, and they look really lush and beautiful. The forests in the south feel warmer with these new leafy trees, and I just want to have a picnic under them. In some areas, Skyrim looks like a different game altogether. On the downside, the performance hit is noticeable. On my system, I lost about 6 frames using Vedagold trees. Ulvenwald Carpathian Forest is a completely new acquaintance to me, but after trying it out for a while, it does look promising. It replaces all vanilla trees in the game, but the pine trees really shine through. Somehow these trees make Skyrim look a little bit like my country, <laughs> and that alone makes it feel like home. I'm giving biased points, I know. There is a summer version available for the aspen trees as well, which is very welcome. When it comes to performance, 
Ulvenwald Carpathian Forest fares quite well, losing me about 4 frames. Definitely not bad. Skyrim Flora Overhaul, aka SFO, has been the classic nature overhaul mod for a decade. It was one of the first mods I personally ever downloaded as well. In addition to replacing most of the default trees, it also adds more than 65 new grass and plant models, and more than 180 new textures for them. I especially love this one particular tree model, and would like to have it always in my game. And even though we're all about the trees today, I must sneak in my love for the lupines this mod adds. SFO feels faithful to the vanilla game, and the performance of it is great. I don't lose much at all, about 3 frames. Murkviar is another tree mod which also includes more options to enhance your nature with grass and terrain textures. So what's interesting about the mod is that the author is a professional horticulturist of 30 years, which means uh, qualified with plants, if I'm not terribly mistaken. All this experience has been combined with Skyrim, which results in a lore-friendly environmental overhaul mod. This is the pick for you, if you enjoy authentic nature and good performance. There is also a beautiful cherry tree optional file, which is perfect for spring. If you are in need of something completely new and you also have a banging PC, Terrific might be the one for you. This mod really changes the landscape of Skyrim, probably most of all the mods we have been going through today. Maybe Terrific is too much for you who value vanilla style trees, but for those who like to try new things, this is great. The trees are very unique and there is some good diversity to the trees. As I implied earlier, the mod is very demanding, losing me about 7 frames, so it's good to keep that in mind. Ok, don't go anywhere yet. Now that we are familiar with each of the tree mods, it's time to compare them to each other. This is the best part in my opinion, for some reason I found comparisons extremely satisfying. I have included all 9 mods in this even if they don't change the trees I'm showing you, like those in the reach. In that case, you'll just see the vanilla trees instead. I thought that it's best to begin the comparisons with the areas around Riverwood, which is surrounded by the classic pines of Skyrim. I find it so useful to use a direct comparison like this, so you can see exactly what's changing. Now let's move on to a super demanding area in the deep of the woods of the Falkreath Hold. Coincidentally, one of my favorite locations as well. Let's track the performance of each mod. Just keep your eyes on the upper left side corner for the FPS counter and pause if you need to because the comparisons are moving quite fast. Ok, now we're done with the southern Skyrim forests. Let's move on to everybody's favorite autumn wonderland, the Rifthold. These aspens, or birches, are just gorgeous. I just never know which ones they are, so let me know in the comments. Ah, oh, the view is so beautiful, even though I'm not a fan of autumn, not one bit. I find it so interesting to compare the trees in a town setting, because we are used to seeing the towns with vanilla trees, it's even easier to see the difference the mods are making. Now 
Now here we go with the FPS counter again, so if the performance is something you want to know, the counter is right there on the left side corner again. To the north we go to see how these 9 tree mods fare in a cold setting. I think here it becomes obvious how different all these tree mods are from each other. It's so nice to see such creativity from all the mod authors. If you think I can't see you checking out that Debella statue, you're wrong! Eyes on the forest, please! Not many of these mods change the appearance of these dead-looking reach trees, but I can see that Tree Rific has the situation under control. these comparisons helped you to decide which trees you liked the most. Next, we're going over to my personal top 3 of these tree mods, so don't go anywhere yet. It's not easy to make a choice between all of these 9 mods, but here we are. And in the third place we have Nature of the Wild Lands. Even though I adore this mod for its beauty and realism, it's just not finished yet, and it eats quite a lot of frames for me. This mod makes Skyrim's nature just insanely beautiful, probably the most beautiful of them all, so I really recommend it and just can't wait for more updates on it. In the second place we have Ulvenwald Carpathian Forest. This mod is brand new, but I still feel like it has flown under everyone's radar. These trees look highly realistic and make the forest feel like home. The performance is in an acceptable range for me, and I can recommend this mod for everyone who wants a slice of an authentic European forest. And in the first place we have Happy Little Trees. Even though I do like my Skyrim to have a super realistic looking nature, Happy Little Trees art style fits in Skyrim in a different way. The trees don't stick out like a sore thumb from the game environment, they feel believable and look really polished. The mod has a welcome balance between graphics and performance, and it is definitely endorsed by me. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe found a new tree mod for your game. Leave me a comment if you did. Please subscribe and like the video if you want to see even more Skyrim mod videos. See ya!